I remember my mother telling me that I was going to do an exam for an assisted place, which is what we called a bursary back then, and that if I did well in that exam, I could go to this school called Howells, which wasn't the natural school I would have gone to. From a young age, because my teachers knew what I wanted to do, they were always very encouraging with the direction I should take, whether it was going to space camp in Houston or wanting to be the first person on Mars. Unsurprisingly, my favorite subject was physics. I absolutely loved it. But actually, some of my fondest memories are of art and drama. For A-level, I did chemistry, physics, and maths, which I knew I needed to do to get into my physics degree. And then I also chose drama so that I could have a bit of a change and also gain some confidence in speaking, and that has helped me massively in my career. For example, when I gave my first talk, the only way I could get through it was by pretending to be somebody else, pretending to be a character in one of the school productions. When you're a pupil at a GDST school, you are surrounded by this environment of energy and enthusiasm and learning, but not in a kind of pressurized way. They give you a huge amount of activities to do all the time and really encourage you to be your best and to be that person you want to be. So for example, if I was into astronomy, I was encouraged to start an astronomy club. It was never a question of trudging to school for boring lessons and not enjoying your day. It was more, what can I do today? Or what can I fit into my day? And as a result of that, I've never had a negative view of learning, ever. I think bursaries are a fantastic way of allowing every child to have the education they deserve. If you didn't have bursaries, how do you know which talents you're missing out on? My work is making a real difference to our understanding of the universe. I think if I could tell me as an eight-year-old that I would be where I am now, I would have been the happiest girl alive because all of my hopes and aspirations have come true.